Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. If there was a most frequently asked question for the Pageant Cast, it would definitely be how did you get started? How did this all begin? Well, the madness began. I actually, from 1990 to about, I think it was 2007, I had a German radio program in Milwaukee named the Stimmung Stunde. Uh, when I had this program, I was doing a lot of uh, German community news, uh, events that were going on in the area, and we had them on the show, uh, different local leaders of the German community. And I, I loved doing interviews, and I was in an event and a friend of mine said, why don't you interview that young lady? And she, she was in a uh, uh, parade there at German Fest, uh, the largest German ethnic festival in the United States, and um, went up to her and talked to her and found out through the interview that she was Miss Milwaukee, she was a local title holder. Uh, we started having some of these young Miss America contestants on our German radio show for, for a couple of months and then I discovered podcasting in about 2005 and said, hey, this is actually the right place for this place and kind of throwing it into the German radio show. It was nice, it was great to have it on AM radio, but it wasn't right place for it. We were a German radio show. So we launched the pageant cast. Now here we are, much, uh, much later, we're still putting out the show and now we have video. Well, it seems like we've come full circle in some ways because when I used to do the old radio program interviews, they were in a separate studio than I and I would set up a camera, not this camera, but a different camera I had at the time in there uh, to kind of capture everything they were doing because sometimes there were quite a bit of hijinks which you might even see in today's video. Anyway, we took videos and we spliced them together and, and we put them out on our website to, to help promote some of the things that we're doing and hopefully promote their platform or what they were uh, coming to talk about. Well, now that we have a video program, I thought let's use some of this video that I have. I have all this great video, let's use it here on our show. We're on Blip TV, we're on uh, YouTube. Let's, let's see some of these. So that's what we've done here today. We've packaged one of our classic Miss America local contestant pageant interviews right here on Pageant Cast TV. Now it's a couple of years later and, and some of these young ladies have gone on to uh, other things, but still spectacular and wonderful interviews. So we bring that to you right now here on the pageant cast. Thank you, sir. Now we're on the air. <laughs> Look over there every so often. Hi! <laughs> I'm with the beautiful and talented Molly McGrath, Miss Wisconsin 2004. Molly, thanks so much for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's yeah. great to be here. My platform is getting young adults, especially the 18 to 24 year old age group, to vote. But certainly voting is something that all citizens need to recognize and practice this right and this privilege that we have to vote. More of the lovely and talented Molly McGrath. Maybe you can do some ballet for us here. Ooh, I don't know. No? Okay. <laughs> I hear you can do that. The sure. listeners won't even know. <laughs> so? <laughs> Thank you. And believe me, those that are regulars of our website, you're going to want to come out and take a look at just what a beautiful, stunning young woman I have sitting here. It's an amazing woman. Yeah. Well, amazing as it is, you are exactly on time for a change. Hey! That is recording. Okay. Is recording yeah. beautiful Molly McGrath, <laughs> Miss Wisconsin 2004. Are you fluent in German? No. 
Really? I think everyone's mothers are the same because she certainly reminds me of my mothers. So. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so there's oh. a lot of similarities in many mothers, I think. She, it, it, she's the light of my life. So. Oh, she's wonderful. <laughs> Shopping with police escorts, is that correct? Oh, every place we went, we had police escorts. And you did? Yes, it was. that was one of the most exciting so parts like because 50, you really felt important. 50 young women hitting a shopping mall at the same time. I would think that the shopkeepers would need the police escort <laughs> to, to, to protect them from all the shopping. Yeah, they actually, they kept us in smaller groups so <laughs> they could keep track of us easier. <laughs> but it was whenever we drove through town, we were all on a big bus and there was police, two or three police cars in front of us and behind us with the sirens on so we never had to stop at a red light or anything. So. This is a shopping emergency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, well, shopping all appearances, they did that. So it was, it was really exciting. So okay. it, it, oh, let's see this uh, one more. Yeah, right. Yeah, we'll, we'll film Not that for the list. Well, after giving up my giving up my crown next June. You're not going to do that willingly, are you? <laughs> well, probably not. I'm. I'm. You know, she's wearing the crown in the <laughs> studio right now, and she's been like casting edicts and telling us to yeah. do things. I'm Miss Wisconsin. You know. Yeah, you know me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Nothing of the sort. I'm making that up, okay? You want to remind everybody that coming in November is an election. They should yes. all vote. November we don't second. care for who. I don't care vote, for who. And only vote once, yes. right? That's that's a key thing that you have to vote only once. And I, we also have to remind everyone that the great thing about Wisconsin is that you can go to your polling location on November 2nd. Even if you have never voted before or never registered to vote, you can still vote. And you just need a form of identification, yes. like a driver's license? And a proof of or, your address. And a proof of your address. What would that be? Just um, A lot of times people use that electricity bill or utility bill. My motto is look both ways okay. before you vote. <laughs>